Okay, everyone, let us first uh, pay homage to the Turku Jane. Okay, so now please join your palm. Okay. <clears throat> Arahang Samma Samputo Pakawa Utang Pakawantang Atiwa Pemi Sawa Kato Pakawata Tamo Amang Namasa Ami Supati Pano Pakawato Sawaka Sanko Sankang Namami Namo Dasa Pakawato Arahato Samma Samputasa Namo Tassa Pakawato Arahato Samma Samputasa Namo Tassa Pakawato Arahato Samma Samputasa Okay, welcome back everyone. So first of all, uh, may I respect to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and may uh, my respect to the Prajan Luang Thi Borobud, and uh, all a venerable uh, monk student and their Nakama student yeah, for our um, history of the life of the Buddha class. Okay. <clears throat> so a kind of familiar some some of you have joined I uh, have participated the the uh previous class, right? So I'm not sure. Uh Mechi Mechi Monwali. So everyone I uh, hear my 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 voice clearly. Is microphones okay? Yes. Okay. Let's see how many students today we have. So hope you enjoy learning with Prajan Jolie, I mean, the um Vinaya class. Yeah? So I also uh would like to learn, you know, I'm I'm new for uh Naktam as well in English. Yeah? So even though I have finished the Dharma study or Naktam, it's already in Thai, but I think uh a learning and a studying a uh, not time in in English now is 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 not easy, especially find finding a good sort to to learn. You know, so uh, luckily this uh this program you know so have already starts and and when when I was when I was studying in the uh, university, I I trying to fit. Uh, looking for a Dhamma class, you know, which is uh, many, many times foreigner, and especially people who come from the West, you know, when they come to visit Chiang Mai, and they would like to learn uh, after chatting with the monk. You know? So here we have a program called Monk Chat Program. So we often have a visitor who come from different countries and and after they come to chat with the monk, you know, so because uh, in, in one session, we we have a very short session. You know? So many of them would like to learn and study more about Buddhism. So don't really have, at that time, I didn't have any like idea how to recommend them to study further by themselves. You know? So I find that the Naktam study uh, 
it designed pretty well to learn the Dharma, learn the teaching of the Lord Buddha systematically. Yeah. So uh, very happy that the previous class yeah, have been done successfully. Yeah. So this is a new, we call it another uh, class that we, we are running. Yeah. So I'm not sure how how many how many totally students are joining uh, in this class. Yeah. So from the previous class, we have totally is around seven, 17 students who, who already finished the uh, elementary level. Yeah. So I heard from Ajahn Warwood that there's someone who, who cannot join in this class for today. Yeah. So hopefully there's more people are joining in this class. All right, so let's... Um, and let's hear from Prajan Luong Phi Kevin. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, Clara. Hello, Prajan. Hello. Namaskar. I don't know. No? So, so already senior. No? So I'm actually new. I'm only uh two wasa. Actually, I just be enter and became a full ordination just a couple years ago. I have oh. been uh, studying as a novice you know, before that. And I and I decided to have a full ordination just two years ago. You know? So oh. you're my, my senior monk. No? Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you, have you joined, uh, you joined the, you missed uh, the previous program, isn't it? So I, I've seen you uh, first when, when we met uh, last last time. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, already. Yeah, uh, last time I so, tried. I I heard you told Prajan Julie that you 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 missed the class and and you haven't have a chance to to take a exam, isn't it? Yeah, of course, of course, already. Yeah, last last uh last term I haven't enough time for uh enjoy the class. Maybe this class maybe I want to try then uh. Uh, I want to examine it. <laughs> examination. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Wang Pi. Uh, you're welcome, Kap. Uh, so let's uh, let's have Han Wan. Could you please introduce yourself? Hello. Hello. Can, yes, sir. And can 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 you introduce yourself and why why you're staying and where you're from and and how how did you uh join join this uh, program? Like, can you share with us a little bit? Okay. Part one. Okay. Thank you very much, Venerable, and the Master of our Dharma. Uh, and first of all, uh, may I respect to the most the venerable here. And my name is Pra Suli Wan. Sila uh, Wan No. I came from Laos. I am Lao Buddhist monk. And I have been here. I have been in Chiang Mai most five years. And I already graduated from uh, Buddhist University, uh, uh, humanity, uh, humanity faculty, and English major. Now I'm studying uh, social development, um, MA, at uh, the Buddhist University also here in Chiang Mai. And this is my first year and first class to join to participate uh, uh, Nagdam Nagdam in Thailand I have said like uh, uh, in my country there are not any uh, class like a uh, Nagdam uh, elementary um, intermediate or upper 
we now have like uh, the class, the Dharma class. We just only study in the in this school. Yes, in this school. And we now have like uh, the systematic uh, Dharma. So that's why uh, we we just know the, the general knowledge about the Buddhism. We know what does it mean, like uh, this word, what does it mean? That's what what does it mean? But we never we 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 never uh learn like uh, the systematic uh the, the dharma. So that's why I decided to to participate in the class dharma class uh in in Thailand, and I also would love to to know more how do they study. I, I always uh, heard uh, from from my my friends like uh, okay this one uh, this one they uh, finished from Nagtamti Elementary Dharma and this one uh, Intermediate Dharma and this one Upper Dharma so I never know that what they are learning about that so this is the course that I I would love to to join to study with the Dhamma class. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Pra uh, one, pra suli one. So actually uh we 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 studied the same program at the uh MCU Chiang Mai campus. Now we finished from the same faculty, the humanity in English. So now he so running uh helping the uh uh, the foundation, yeah. so Mekong River at the Mang Chat program. Now, so uh, it's great, you know, so to to have uh, another quality monk you know, to to have a proper ways of learning Dharma, and in the future we will be able to propagate teaching to the foreigner more effectively. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, Joe Rodin. Joe Joe Rodin is that is yes. that? Hi. How how to pronounce your name? Joe Joe Rodin. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Geraldine. Geraldine. Why are you from Geraldine? I'm from Singapore. Singapore. Are you Singaporean? Yes. So how? How, how did you know this program? So he who recommend you to participate and study the 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 Nagdama course. A uh, a friend from the previous uh, like the previous class that you had, she introduced me uh -huh. to come and sign up That's for true. this. Yeah. Okay, so you are now living in Singapore. That's right. Okay, so have you ever been to Thailand uh -huh. before? Okay, that's great. Man. <laughs> so this is a, it's kind of we call uh, a Dharma study in 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 we call in in Thai in Thai uh, Buddhist study. It's a fundamental program. That's all the. Uh, even in the school, we also have this uh, program, but mostly in Thai, you know. Mm -hmm. So we run this program. I think it's the first time in Thailand that we have this English uh, uh, version in Dharma study. Yeah. And actually this program, uh, people like students, like from the secondary school and high school, they, they also study this basic foundation of the uh, Buddhism, you know? So, like luckily we have now in English version English program that's uh I think uh uh is a good idea because I find that more people especially who who were not Thai you know will be able to study the Dharma more systematically. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's great. Okay, now let's move to another one. Met she's run. So 
Let me see. Sarantat ka. Messi Sarantat. Next channel. So Messi, where are you now? Not now, I'm in Bangkok. You're in Bangkok? Yes. Last time I attended the class, last time, but you attend I the class, left, right? left too long to follow up the class. <laughs> I said, what what happened? Why why you you missed uh, the I class? I need to go to a camp with the university. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So, do you think this time you have um, more time to I, participate? I, I try to <laughs> finish elementary class. this time. <laughs> uh -huh. So actually, this is a very basic, you know. So many like uh, for uh. For those I find it, they already finished the uh nap time in, in Thai, you know. So some actually if, if you don't finish the elementary, you cannot go further, especially in nap time to nap time eight, you know, because yes, it okay. is a requirement that you have to finish it. Go start from uh I elementary. Finished, uh, Thomas, I finished Thomas session is for Almost 10 years ago, about eight years ah, ago. I see. I see. In Thai, right? Yeah, Thai language. Okay. So the math study. The math study. study that's study right. The math. Mm -hmm. So that, that's good. So uh, I think. Uh, is the content is the same, teacher? Is the content is the same? The content it's uh, exactly the same in Thai version actually, but we just uh, adapting into applied into in and in English. You know? so maybe they maybe slightly different uh, from what we learn and study in Thai because in in, in Thai, um, um, mostly decide uh, by the. Uh, you know, and that that they assign the class and the structure and the test, you know. Then um and Naktam is a little bit different, you know, for for uh is designed okay. for for general people, you know, for students, for general people, and Naktam is more uh, more intensive in learning. That decide for novice and, and Buddhist monk, you know. So um, like in the exam, there's no mo multiple choice né? for for the nactam, but this uh, we call nactam and not really uh, uh we call damasiksa, not really nak nactam. We kind kind of combine both together, né? so we're not bring, uh, making it too too difficult to learn, you know. So because uh, the intention and objective of this course is to to allow people to be able to access to the basic we call teaching and uh, foundation and background of Buddhism. Yeah. So similar, but not exactly the same in Thai. Yeah. But uh, we're trying to decide it and make it more uh, easy yeah, to, to learn and study. Yeah. And, and another, I think, uh, uh, our cases uh, we we're learning online. You know, sometimes uh it's it's kind of sometimes hard to to really uh join the class. You know? So there's a more much more convenient. So may, maybe uh, those who cannot participate in uh, a class. You know? So in the future, I think if we could have a um uh beside an online class and we can uh study uh, in the class. You know? All right, you now already finished your your university study already, right? Uh, during doing my thesis. Oh, you're 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 doing your thesis. Right? Okay. Hamasuksa, I didn't study uh Vinaya. 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 I I don't I did not study Vinaya. Oh, there's no, there's no winner yet, yeah, right? Oh. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah? 
Mm-mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very online. much. I study online in different also in different languages with a Sathaban Pukpong for Thambinan. Oh, I see. I see. So I, I think this is going to be, this class and program is going to be very helpful, you know, to uh, consider as another program to help with your study, you know, especially and on uh, the structure that's uh, uh, with the help of the Ajahn and Narong Chai and Jan Brawood, and they're very active in running this program. You know? So hope you're fine. It's uh, useful you know, for your uh, study and 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 further study you know, in the future. The lesson is about Abad during this month. Mm -hmm, studying mm -hmm. Abad. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is the monastic. Uh, we call rule you know, for the um piku you know, the, the vinaya. All right, thank you very much for for sharing. You know, let's now uh, move to another one. Uh, S G, uh, Janice Tan. Uh, uh, I'm Janice. I'm from Singapore. Um, so, yeah. so how 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 did you know this program? Um, actually, I know it through a friend, and that friend is actually Geraldine's father. Oh, who who attained the previous class, right? I I guess so. He 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 attended, or maybe he didn't attend, but someone actually referred him that. But I have been with the um Damakaya for almost about ten years. I also I, I mean I also studied um some of these courses, but it's just that um I, I used to study together with the middle way. Um it's mm -hmm. more of the meditation, but they also mm -hmm. cover the Dharma courses, but it's not as intense. Uh, I don't say that it's not intensive, but it's just a different way of um uh, delivering the, the the message, uh teaching and all those. So that that part is like um I, I had that about two three years ago, uh which mm -hmm. I studied but um I, I'm more into um uh ceremonies attending and all those uh for the last five to six years so uh maybe it come to a point of time that um I actually wanted to do something for this uh Buddhist land retreat I want to start all over again so that's why. Mm -hmm. Um, this friend of mine recommended that um, besides just trying to calm yourself to, to start all over again, maybe you should start to do a, a revision yourself. So um, he recommended that this is actually a good course. So he actually sent me the previous uh, video to, I mean, a link to, 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 to read through. So I only just saw one or two of the link and I think um, I'm ready for, for a reset and recharge. <laughs> <laughs> kind of things. So it, it's just more for myself because I I mm -hmm. I feel that um rather than I uh dharma hopping to to find mm -hmm. uh what I wanted to so uh I give myself uh, an opportunity to try this time and see uh whether uh it really suits me before I can actually introduce to some others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so so that. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much for, yeah. for sharing. So uh, that is this this program and this class is uh, definitely designed you know, for to, to for the purpose we 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 try to design this program in order to the uh, student and and the learner will be able to uh, put the teaching into action. Yeah. So the course is not really designed for like only taking exam and finish and have a certificate. You know? So because most of the st uh, participants and students here are already, you know, adult mostly. You know? So that's why we're not really going to uh, focus on how to get the scores and uh, exam, but how to really deepen in the teaching you know, throughout the uh, systematic uh, course that design and divide in different subjects. You know? So, and also the class that we're going to be uh, 
uh, studying, you know, in this subject of the history of the life of the Buddha. You know? So hopefully it's going to help you and inspire you know, your uh, Dhamma practice, you know, throughout the life of the Buddha. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for uh, sharing. You know? Okay. So next one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Way, way, way on. Way, way on. Good afternoon, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Pon. Hello, Pon from Thailand. <laughs> is that correct? Way, way? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, Long Pi. My name is Way, way. Way, way. Yes. Where, where, where are you from, Way, way? Uh, I'm Malaysian, but living in Singapore. Oh, no. So how how did you know this this program this demo uh, club? Uh, same friend as uh, Geraldine recommended by same friend. Uh, oh, so the previous class, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, I see. Wait, wait. So you you now uh live in Singapore? Ah, uh, yes, correct. So I want to learn uh. Buddhism in English as well because uh in the past I always learn in Chinese, so I hope to learn um a basic uh uh Buddhist Buddhism teaching in English so that uh when I engage my friends uh non Chinese friend I can share some Buddhism in English as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Huh? Yeah, and so, uh -huh. some teaching that I can practice in my life as well. I see. Thank so you. Can, 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 can you share with us how, how did you uh, studies and your experience of uh, learning Buddhism? Did you, you take the class? They had the class? You, you study in China or where, where did you study? You study with the monk in the temple and at school? Or? Not a proper one. Uh, normally, I just study a book or from a website. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see. Uh-huh. So I hope this time I can uh, study uh, Buddhism in a proper way as well. All right. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you very much, Wei, Wei, Wei. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so... So Meshi Monwali has already introduced yourself, right? Meshi Monwali. Meshi Monwali. Okay, today we have uh, one. We have seven. No? Okay, so let me let me tell you our maybe roadmap. <laughs> so what uh, what we are going to be learning and studying in in this subject. No? The subject. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so this is the uh, history of the Buddha subject. Okay, so Dhamma study, a certificate program, elementary uh, Dhamma study. So uh, this is going to be another subject that we, we are going to learn from the very background you know, of, of Buddhism, you know, so how how Buddhism arrived and includes studying about the uh, different context in the Buddha time you know, to get to know and the situation and people at that time and how, how they practice the Dharma and how the Buddha propagate his teaching and, and study the uh, 
uh, cause and effect né? of the uh, the Buddha uh, arise and uh, awaken becoming the Buddha and how Buddhism and, and Dhamma spreads to India and many other uh, kingdom. Né? So we're going to uh, go back you know, to the Buddha time you know, to take a look and explore and the worlds and and uh, in India you know, and around the Himalayan uh, foothill and that is the beginning of history of Buddhism you know, where uh, the Buddha he was born and spent most of his life you know, propagating his teaching to the people at that area. You know. Okay, let's first introduce myself. Now, my my name. So my name is uh, uh, Venerable Sombun. Uh, you or you can call me Luang Pi Luang Pi Sombun uh, or Luang Pi Bun. Uh. So uh, my monastic name is uh, Anna Vivro, uh, and my last name is Sompong. Uh. So actually, I just um became uh, became a Full monk, a couple of years ago, two years ago. So before that, I was a novice. So and later on, I um after I graduated from the university, I decided to um become a full monk. So I currently work at the monk chat program. So helping Pra Ajahn Jolie. So Ajahn Jolie, he's uh, our uh one of our English class, and he teach the uh, language and, and also Vinaya and in the class. And I got the invitation from Ajana to help teaching this program yeah, To And I am in charge of the uh, subject of the history of the Buddha. Yeah. So I find that this uh, Dharma study uh, very interesting, you know? So as a monk, a teaching monk at Monk Chat, you know? so, so we have many uh, visitors who are not Buddhist, you know? And most of the people who are here are chatting with the monk. They have zero, we call, we ha they have zero uh, knowledge about Buddhism, you know? So I think that uh, is would be, it would be good if we are able to uh, provide a course or maybe program that allow uh, people to attain more uh, on uh, studying Buddhism, you know. So before that, I also uh, wonder that why don't we have the uh, Nakthama in, in English? Yeah? Because all the basic, all the basic that we can apply into meditation practice or in everyday life or uh, decide pretty well in the Dhamma Nakthamma or Dhamma Siksa study in Thai, but haven't, haven't seen uh, any monk or anyone who, who, who uh, teach in English, you know. So even though at the university, sometimes uh, we have a the, the most of the sub subject is not designed like uh, systematically like in a uh, Nakthama, you know, so so you have to attain the university course so you will be able to learn this uh, uh, teaching. You know? But I think uh, this program, you don't have to spend that four years or maybe take the full course in the university and you can learn uh, the entire teaching, you know, uh, from the elementary to the S1 Naktam Ek, and you understand the, the core concept and, and the way and how to propagate the teaching in the future. So I think that this program not only uh, designed for the Hmong, but also general people, um, make it easy to uh, accessible and learn. You know? Uh, the program. Yeah. All right, so uh, here is the object of the of the course. That's uh, uh, we we have the intention yeah, to design this uh, program yeah, in order to study uh, the origin and significance 
of the life of the Buddha, you know. And to foster faith and applying the Buddha moral teaching and you know, to lead a happy and content uh, life in society. You know? So uh, I find that especially when, when we study Dharma or teaching and to get to know about the founder and the history of the Buddha allowed us allowed us to be able to have a confidence in our practice, you know. So learning the his life sometimes also inspire, inspire, uh, inspire the practitioner, inspire the meditator, dharma study to uh, developing and uh, train oneself. You know, I find that many many story in in uh, the Buddha time, you know, we can use the story and apply the story as a role model. You know, that's uh, learning from the story is easier to get to know and deepen more in the teaching you know, of the Buddha. You know. Okay, so this is the criteria and evaluation uh, for the class, you know, for our uh, Buddha history class. You know. So number one, you know, number one, uh, the evaluation will be conducted through tests. You know. So we're going to have a test. You know. Like some, maybe you will be asked to uh, write an assignment and submit the assignment. Uh, maybe, and maybe sometimes we have a discussion or maybe a Q and A session. Yeah. And of course, so uh, at the at the end of the uh, the course, the program. Now we're going to have a. Uh, examination, you know, the final examination. You know. So that's criteria. So what we call is 10% uh, of a class attendant you know, and 20% of the uh, assignment you know, submit and the final you know, final examination will be 70%. Uh, you know. So that's what we're going to instruct you know, in and this course you know, throughout the uh, program. You know? So attendance in this subject must be uh, not less than 80%. You know? So this is not very, you can, if you miss the class, you cannot attain the online class, you can go back and take a look at the video. You know? So our class will be recorded and upload into a YouTube channel. You know? So you can uh, go back and and watch a review if you missed the class. And number three, assessment of learning outcome in the subject will be include a grade and grade point. The minimum passing grade for a subject is S. So, so if you get a 90 to 100, you know, total, the total score, you will get an honor grade. So if you get the Stick a uh, sixty to eighty nine, yeah? so you will get the a uh, certifying yeah? in grade in grading, yeah? and if you get uh lesser than fifty nine, yeah? so that is the uh, we call uncertified. It's considered as failed. Now you may maybe have to re uh, uh restudy again. Yeah? <clears throat> All right, so this is about the the uh, course outline. Yeah? So what we expect from, from learning uh, this, this class. Yeah? So we uh, acquire knowledge and understanding of Buddhist uh, history yeah? and to be to enable to apply the Buddhist teaching from Buddha history in everyday life. Yeah? And to encourage the student to be able to explain or uh, tell other you know, and about the teaching of uh, Buddhism and the life of the Buddha, at least. You know. So as a Dharma study, you, know, you are supposed to be able to tell other people you know, who the Buddha is, you know, where he come from and what, uh, what the Buddha 
uh, what the Buddha taught to the people. You know? So at least you can explain the uh, basic concept, you know, how important of the Buddha is. You know? So that is the expectation you know, and outcome of the uh, course. <clears throat> All right, so uh, and this is from the course and uh, from the word of the Buddha. Yeah? So mention about the four place of pilgrimage. Yeah? So have anyone here have been to Nepal or India or have you been to the four places of pilgrimage in Buddhism? Okay, yeah, yeah. have anyone? Yeah, I have. Uh, Michi Mon Monwali, have you been to uh, India of the four place of pilgrimage? Yes, about three times. Three times, wow. No? Yes. Okay. And what about the others? Anyone else? And you have been visit uh have been to India and four pre four places of pilgrimage, you know? So this is uh, all these four places uh, are the significant, uh, we call important place you now after the Buddha, when the Buddha, he was about to pass away. You know, and he, he told and, and, and Ananda, you know, he told Ananda that these four places is a place that uh, the, a person, you know, who, who is a pious person who have a, a faith on in Buddhism should go and visit you know, to uh, to look and and having a sense of urgency. You know? So here we call it feeling of reverence. You know? So feeling of reverence in Thai we call sang uh, sang wei, no? sang wei, sang wei ni ya sathan. So to to remind to encourage you not to be careless in life. You know? So that is when the Buddha after, uh, before he passed away. So the Ananda asked him that, uh, so after you pass away, after you die, you know, so how could people come to, to worship and come and see you? you know? Because uh, before, when, when he's still alive, you know, people just come and, and worship him to, to uh, uh, make merit, you know, because Buddha. You know? So, but what if you, know, you already uh, pass away? You know? The Ananda asked the Buddha, and the Buddha told Ananda that uh, these four places, Ananda, you, know, you should uh, Buddhist people you know, who are pious person should uh, go and visit to have a sense of uh, urgency or feeling of reverence. You know? And what he said here is uh, that Thakata, and then Buddha said, uh, where that Thakata was born. This Ananda is a place that a pious person should visit and look upon with feeling of reverence. And the next place is, he said, here that Thakata became fully enlightened. The place that the Buddha, he, he enlightened. To unsurpass, you know, in in surpass and supreme enlightenment, you know, where he achieved enlightenment. This Ananda is a place that a pious person should visit and look upon with feeling of reverence. You know. And this is the second place. You know. And the third place, you know, he said here the Takata set rolling. You now when he first uh gave the 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 sermon, when he first gave out the uh, Dhamma a lecture. Yeah. Okay, so do you know what is the name of, of the place that the Buddha given lecture? Now he first given lecture. Anybody can, can share with me? Uh -huh. uh, that exactly. Yeah. So Dhamma Chakapawatana Sutra, right? It's the first Dhamma lecture that the Buddha gave to the first group of the monk. Né? So does anybody know what who, who is the first monk? Né? With the first 
Buddhist follower, uh, a Buddha disciple. Anyone know that the, the name of the first Buddhist monk? Anya Gontanya. The Anya Gontanya, right? So this is related to how the Buddha he spreads, uh, yeah, his teaching to the first, uh, a five monk. Né? So what it is called? <laughs> this place. Né? So does it have a name? Né? Is it Patana Marukatayawan? Is it Patana? Is that correct? Uh -huh. uh, is it Patana? The of the first uh, view of the Ma. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's wrong. Yes. Is uh -huh. the is it Patana Marukatayawan? Uh -huh. uh, is it Patana? Is it Deer, deer Park, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, is a part and there's a name that we're going to take a look at how important uh, this place. Yeah? So that is another place that the Buddha, he uh, has said that the person who are a pious person should go and visit. Yeah? And this Ananda is a place that pious person should go and look upon. Yeah? And the last place yeah, is uh, where the Buddha passed away. Yeah? Or where he attained Bali Nibbana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bali Nibbana. <clears throat> okay, so why 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 do you know the name of the place the Buddha passed away? <laughs> uh so you're not really sorry, <laughs> Not really family, right? Okay, so keep that in mind. And we're going to take a look and 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 study together. Go see Naga. Go see Naga. Go see Naga. Go see Naga. So that is a, a one of the the city, and that the Buddha attained Bali Nibbana. Kusinanga. Yeah, into so these are are these four important uh place. Yeah? So we're going to focus on this theme, you know. So we're going to uh, go back and there's a lot of name that uh, sometimes you have to uh, remember and you have to uh, mem memorize, you know about the name, about the name of the person, about his family, about the uh, his follower and, and monk, you know, because it's going to be helpful for your uh, study uh, further in Naktam To, you know, so having a, the basic, nah. Okay, all right, so you can I take a look at that. I beg your pardon. Uh, the, yes, third, yes. the third place, we can call another name is Dhammeka Satu. Dhammeka Satu, right? Is a stu is a stupa there? No. Yes. That is the modern yes. modern name right? that they gave its name later, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing. All right. So and this is what, what is basically uh we 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 have yeah, the name of the full place of pilgrimage. You know? So the, the place that the Buddha was born you know, is called Rumbini. You know? So Rumbini is a, is a forest, right? And between the Goliya and Sakaya clan. You know? So it's a place that the Buddha, you now Prince Siddhartha was born. You know? And the place he attained enlightenment it is called Buddha Buddha Gaya. Yeah. And Buddha Gaya today is where he achieved enlightenment. Yeah. And at the place he uh, gave his first sermon yeah, is called Sanat. Yeah. San Sanat. Yeah. And at the site of his uh, Maha. Bali Nibbana, and the place the Buddha passed away, is called Kusinaga. 
So this is the four place of pilgrimage that's going to relevant to the history of the Buddha. Yeah. So in detail, now we're going to study uh, in in different chapter, you know, according to the cross outline, they're totally uh, 15, 13, 13 chapter. Yeah. But the book that we're going to, to use, you know, the main uh, source and book that we're going to use uh, in the book, that decide by the Mekong Tam. You know? So there's only there's only nine chapter. You know? So so I find that this the uh, uh the information is just uh, very basic. You know? So I would like to use another text you know? that's uh chaired by Prajan Warwood. You know? So it's another another one you know? I'm going to share with all of you and we're going to rely on uh, this book as the main for our uh, class. You know? So not to use too many sources, you know, so in, in order to avoid like uh, confusion. I find that the history of the Buddha, there's a many different version, you know, so it depends on how uh, people, they, they study a Buddha, uh, their life of the Buddha in, in different view. You know? <clears throat> All right, so let's take uh, some some time to to revise and what we mentioned. So, what is the significance of Buddha Gaya and one of the whole place of pilgrimage in Buddhism? Um, uh, Luang P. Kevin. Uh, so which one is the correct answer? Buddha Gaya is a place the Buddha uh, I think birthplace of Buddhist Buddha. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't know. Just a moment. Okay. The Buddha Gaya is a place where the Buddha attain, no, attain oh, enlightenment. Attaining enlightenment, but in Japan. No, no, no. Uh, he achieved enlightenment, you know, achieved enlightenment, becoming a Buddha. No? The correct answer is uh, now uh, E. Enlightenment, not not Palinibana, no? uh, Buddha Gaya, no? uh, Buddha Gaya. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. uh, number two, which of the four place places of pilgrimage is linked to the Buddha first discourse? Okay. So, uh, uh, Janet, yeah? uh, Janet, is that Sana? Janice, do you know? Is that Sana? C, C. Uh, the, the, is uh -huh. it C? So, it's a place where... Uh -huh. It's cost. Is it C? Yeah, it was, uh -huh. C, correct. Yeah? Sana. Where he gave his first sermon. Yeah? Dhamma Jaga Bhavatima Sutra. Yeah? Okay, so just uh, revise, you know, maybe I, 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 I think the most of you, you have heard or maybe learned some of this basic uh, stuff already. You know? So just uh, review, you know? sana. You know? <clears throat> All right, number three, the four places of pilgrimage includes Kusinaga, where the Buddha Attain. Okay. Jeradin. <laughs> so, which one that we can feel that to complete this sentence? Is it A? A. Maha Parinibbana. Maha Parinibbana, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, that's correct. Né? So, where he attained. Né? And we call the nirvana, you know, when he passed away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, number four, room ini. Now, another sacred site is associated with which important event in life of Buddha. Okay. Uh, Tan one. No. So, what? Uh, what is your your answer? How one are you there? Or maybe he is away. So, okay. Uh, what about Wei Wei? Wei Wei, what do you think? Uh, room Pini. <laughs> It's a birthplace. It's a birthplace, all right? The answer is B. It's a birthplace. I have been there once. Oh, that's great. So oh, do you, you went to all the four places or only uh, the Rumbini? Only Rumbini so far. Ah, uh, Rumbini. Yes, thank you. So... I also would love to 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 go and visit all the four uh uh places, you know. So, but having have time to 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 explore and to to visit all in the, the four, you know. So in the future, yeah, I would love to go, uh, like the Sa Sanat, you know. So where the Buddha he attained enlightenment. You know? Okay, number five, who are considered the origin inhabitant of Indian subcontinent. Uh, so this is a pre-test, pre pre-test. No. So there are two group of people in, in Buddha time. You know? So the first group of the people, uh, the, the local people, and also the invader who come from the northern part of India. You know? So they have a specific name uh, to call this group of uh, people in Indian subcontinent. Okay, so the question here they ask is who are considered you know, the origin? It means that the people that's already stay and and living their life there. You know? Now, who who inhabitant who stay there already in Indian continent? What do they call? You know? Number A is in Miraka, and number B is Ariyaka, and C Indo Aryan. Okay. Anyone have any ideas on this uh, question? This is Indo Aryan. Hmm? Are you sure? Number C. Indo Aryan. Miraka or Indo Aryan? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit uh, tricky, you know. So at this point, the answer is Miraka. You know? So the, oh. the Miraka is the, the local. Yeah. Um, so, so, so um they were invade, invaded by Ariyaka or Indo Aryan. Yeah? So Indo Aryan, they're smart, they're, they're good warrior, you know. There's a kind of uh ruler they invade and 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 that is the beginning how they classify the people in India. What we have the case system, you know, and people are divided in, in different case man. there's a ruler the spiritual leader motion and the worker yeah? so those is as a group the two main group of people there's america and ariaka or indo alien similar yeah? so this is also uh, uh we're going to take a look about uh this uh, group two two group of these uh, people you know, to understand the context that how come these uh, belief and and culture in India and how these uh, social kids influence you know, uh, on their belief. You know. Number six, what is the term used for the newcomer who migrate <laughs> to Indian subcontinent and replace the indigenous people? Indigenous people is the local people. Mm -hmm. So what what do they call? Our, oh sorry, this is the our area mm -hmm. The newcomer. The newcomer area mm -hmm. uh, the, the newcomer area mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So and and this is the the, the contact the, the 
type and group of people. Yeah. That's why the uh, Indian society at that time they classify people, and it's come to be uh, one of the main scripture that they follow in Hinduism called Veda. Yeah. Which is they believe that uh, different class of the people was born from a different part of the God, you know. So they believe that the ruler come from the hand or something, you know? and like a spiritual leader, like Brahmin, was born from the mouth of the gods and goddess. You know? So this kind of belief has come from the caste system, how to govern the people at that time. You know? So it's interesting. Then later on, we're going to uh, take a look and and deepen more detail you know, on a, a group of the people you know, in the Buddha time. You know? Okay, this is another interesting term. The term wana you know, or wana you know, refer to which one? Caste system, religious text, or secret ritual? Have you, he have you heard or oh, maybe yes, seen this word system. before? And the answer is case system. system. Number, eight. Number eight. So case system. So as, as I said earlier, so Indian society, you know, so still today, this kind of uh, case system still strongly believe, even though by law, uh, they already cancel. But they, they know, you know, in, in cultural, um, we call norm and practice is still divide you know and classify people in different case you know even i heard that even language they use a different word different term you know they have a hierarchy and the way how they communicate speak and even the way how they treat each other you know so i heard from my 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 uh my teacher he used to live in india you know? so he spent when he was there and study uh uh, his master, you know, he told me that the people uh, just uh, classify, you know, some some people like uh, in higher case, you know, they they know they don't use glass, you know, the, the same glass, the same uh, um, bottle of water, or it's the same dish when they eat food, you know. So if they find that oh this uh, the this cup or maybe. Uh, this is used by the lower case, you know, they're not going to use or even uh, throw it away. You know? So that's a strong, this kind of uh, cultural transmission still uh, practice in India. You know? All right, number eight, what is the primary characteristic associated with the Brahmin in the caste system? Okay, Brahmin. Okay, so this is another important term that's going to, uh, we're going to be called, uh, take a look in more detail in Brahmin yeah, because uh, this is a, also play important role, yeah, often considered as a background of the belief in Indian society at that time. Yeah, that's a Brahmin are considered as a, a spiritual leader, right? So which, which one is the, the uh, answer, the correct answer, warrior, business person, a labeler, or incarnation e. of knowledge? B? D, D. Uh, D, Incarnation right? of knowledge. The incarnation of knowledge. Yeah. So that they represent the mouth of God, right? So all the knowledge are up to uh, origin, originated from, from Brahmin. Yeah? So and they just keep that so we call it that holy text, but called Veda. Mm -hmm. so only Brahmin could could learn and study and absorb this knowledge. You know? Incarnation of knowledge. You know? <clears throat> All right. So this is some you know, some of the information you know, and uh, for our first you know, first class. You know, so it's just an introduction and the course outline that's our plan, what we're going to be uh, studying and learning throughout uh, the rest of the week. We're going to uh, go study from chapter to another chapter. So let me 
uh, share um, with you some of the material, the content that we're going to, to use here. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so this is the the book you know, that I'm going to check uh, share with you and we uh, to to make it more more convenient uh, for our class and and study I and we're going to rely on this book as a main. Now, maybe if you have any interesting source you know, or uh, any other information that would, you would like to share with the class, you know, you're, you're welcome. Now, but we are going to uh, use uh, this book you know, as a, uh, a main, main source that we're going to study. You know. So this book are designed the history of the Buddha in 10 10 different chapter. Yeah. So I hope to finish the um uh the the book by the end of our program. Yeah. So I hope to to go one chapter to to one chapter, one week, one chapter. Yeah. So they're totally uh they're totally I took a look at the content. Yeah. They're totally 10. Yeah. The 10 a uh, chapter. Yeah. So like the first chapter, yeah. so we're going to start from the, the bird of the one who can truly put an end of suffering. And so we're going to be discussing it about the, uh, from the beginning of the intention of becoming the Bodhisattva, the have, have the Buddha, he started to have the intention to become the Buddha. Yeah. So as maybe some of you, you have, have you ever heard the term bodhisattva? Bodhisattva. Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this chapter is going to be about the how the Buddha or bodhisattva started having the intention to become the Buddha. Mm -hmm. And still, uh, his early life. Né? And uh, chapter two is going to be when when he uh, started né? started to recognize about the four sides né? that he saw the old man and he saw the sick man, the dead man, and the wandering ascetic. And this caused him to think about to end. Uh, the suffering yeah. and and on and on about the chapter three yeah. so teaching the truth about life yeah. so it's going to be about when he first teaching uh giving his first sermon yeah. uh, chapter four it's about fulfilling the promise and appointing chief disciple yeah. so when he uh after leaving the palace, you know, the Buddha went out uh, and checking for the teacher and, and trying to figure out the way how to end uh, the, the suffering. And he met a king. You know, he met a king who his friend. You know, so um, King Pimbisara. Pim you know, so 
and he knew that the uh, Siddhartha uh, became a monk and came to his kingdom and he went there to see him and and ask him to to rule to rule the kingdom together and he will share his uh, half of his kingdom uh, for the prince Siddhartha but he just refused you know? and then he uh, made an appointment um, make a promise you know, to to uh, to the king. You know? So King Pimbasara asked that if he discover or really discover uh, the path to enlightenment, you know, come and, and teach me as the first person. You know? And that is the situation that we're going to uh, take a look and learn and explore that what what happened at that time. You know? And appointing the chief disciple. You know? And later on, after he, when he, when at the beginning of his spreading the Dharma, you know, so that the, he start to have more follower and uh, disciples, and and they also uh, is when he appoint you know, the two chief disciple, you know, that is a uh, the one of the chief disciple on on the right and on the left. You know, and chapter five, the great meeting of the Lord Buddha, you know, perfect disciple. You know. So that is the, the chapter five is going to be the story about the um, Mahakasapa, you know, Mahakasapa, the great disciple of the Buddha, you know, who who are foremost in who are foremost in Tudonga. You know, the the Tudonga, when we're going to deepen into the concept of Tudonga. You know, and which is very uh, useful you know, for uh, meditation training for for those who would like to like uh, apply the Tudonga, you know, especially for the monk. You know. Chapter six you know, is about teaching his father and the people of Kapilawatu. You know. So this chapter we're going to be uh, talk uh, discussing about the one the Buddha. After he attained enlightenment, and then he, he, his father sent uh, the envoy to invite him go back to the kingdom. Yeah. So, and at that time, this one of his uh, playmate when he was young, uh, named Galudayi, yeah. so sent by the king Suddhodana to invite him and go back to Kabilawatu. Yeah. So when the king heard that, oh, he already achieved enlightenment, so he would love to see his son and sending the envoy for 10 times. Yeah. So that's going to be in this chapter, yeah, chapter six. Yeah. <clears throat> and chapter seven, there's yeah, some important event concerning the Lord Buddha relative. Yeah. <clears throat> so why the Buddha is staying in, in the Kapila Watu. You know, so also many important situations that happen. You know? So as the the arising of the first novice monk and it happened, and uh, and also many, many of his relatives, especially prince that's uh, ordained as monk to follow him, you know? like a prince. Ananda, uh, Prince Nanda, and Prince uh, Tewatata, you know, who uh, also follow him and became monk. You know? And chapter eight, you know, so it's going to be about the event you know, <clears throat> uh, that's a uh, additional important event you know, that's uh, we put on this chapter. It's going to be like some important event that the Buddha encounter the um, difficult situation. Né? So important situation like when uh, how how he deal with uh, with the stubborn monk, you know, st stubborn monk, and how he deal with the drunken elephant, how he deal with the Tewatata, he's trying to take his life, you know. So is is going to be in this chapter, you know, chapter eight, you know? and we're going to be learning about the quality how the Buddha he apply his palami or his power to deal with the different situation that happened. Sometimes he used his psychic power, 
Sometimes he uses his wisdom. Sometimes he have to use his kindness and compassion. You know? So that is his power. You know? So and to deal and solve the problem that he encounters. You know? And chapter nine is going to be about the Lord Buddha uh, when uh, before he attained enlightenment. And this is the uh, Pachima Kala. You know? so it's a uh, last section of his uh, life of propagating the teaching. You know? So in this chapter, we're going to be learning about uh, what the Buddha laid down and, and gave his message to his follower before he uh, passed away. Yeah. <clears throat> and chapter 10, the last chapter is going to be uh, when he traveling to Kusinaga. Yeah to attain his final uh, complete Nibbana né, at the Kusinaga, the city. Né? So uh, it's going to be about the way, along the way, uh, traveling to Kusinaga from, from Makata. Né? So there are also many important uh, lessons learned that he, every, when he traveled uh, going to Kusinaga, né, he took that important chant and, and we're going to learn why the Buddha decided to attain enlightenment, why uh, he uh, didn't stay longer, you know? So what's caused him to, to die? You know? So we're going to be learning in this uh, chapter three, you know, in the, uh, chapter 10. You know? And also some of the more detail on, on situation of the Buddha passed away, what, what happened and how a monk uh, treat his uh, body, how monk uh, people treat his body, and how people treat his willicks, né? and how his willick uh, chair, and and how uh, monk community uh, ongoing uh, preserve the teaching né? and protect the teaching, né? because at that time. It's kind of uh, important even that uh, uh, many monks, yeah? so especially the monk uh, calls su Supatta. Yeah? So he he made an appropriate speech after the Buddha passed away. That's why uh, now the Buddha has already passed away. Uh, why are you so sad? Now we don't have anyone to tell us uh, what to do, what to not do. You know? So why don't 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 be sad? Yeah? So that's heard by Venerable Mahagasapa. Then he would like to blame at this monk and just the Buddha to pass away just a week. You know? There's uh, someone who already uh, trying to uh, again what he taught. You know? So they rush to arrange the recall, the rehearsal or recitation to protect you know, the teaching of the Buddha. You know? So these are the overall, you know, the overall uh, 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 the subject, the overall view on our uh, class you know, from uh, chapter one to chapter 10. You know. So along <clears throat> each chapter, you know, so I may give you maybe uh, some assignment you know, to, to do your own research or maybe to do uh, some small tests you know, for our study. <clears throat> okay, so on the next week we're going to start you know, from chapter one. Okay, I'm um, so this week we are not going to uh, take uh, any. Uh, uh, learn the go into the uh, detail uh, yet. Yeah? So just let you know about our outlines and our roadmap, what we're going to to do in in the class. Yeah? <laughs> so I will share this uh, this book with you. Okay, you can take a look and, and read in advance and before the class. Yeah? So every time then when we come to in the, in, in the in the class and you don't have to, we don't have to waste our time reading again. So what we're going to pick some important point né? and some point that you may curious or you may not understand or we can 
bring uh, bring it to the class and and discuss. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now it's almost time. And anyone have any? Do anyone have any question? No? So, hello, P. Um, I saw that you have actually um, uh, given us the course uh details all in the group chat, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's about that. I just want to reconfirm that these are the ones that we have already uploaded in Google. So once we download those, these are all the information that you are going to cover during this couple of weeks. Uh -huh. So uh, please take a look at the, that is the slide. Yeah? You, you, um, what, what, what we have shared in, in the group. No, so that is the slide. Yeah. Okay. And maybe I, I may, uh, do some edit, you know, so some, some like at the, uh, the, the slide that we use in the previous class, you know, some, I find that is not, is not covered or, you know, so I sometimes take also some, the additional information, uh, outside of the book that is not included in the book, you know, so, uh, maybe I'll put some new new uh, information inside the slide, but we are going to base on that uh, source, you know, the slide that's in, in the Google uh, Drive or in especially at the book that I'm going to be sharing with you. And you can, uh, we're going to rely on this, uh, this source. No? Okay. Yeah, I just want to reconfirm because I think all these books, uh, I've seen it before, but uh, looks like uh, is we are we are going to cover quite a number of items um through these books. It's just that you may have some revise on this this session. I mean, this new 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 term, correct? Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, but what yeah. I meant is yeah. what you have. I mean, what um was posted in the group is just a kind of just for us for reference, and also it's also the books that you will be covering during this this couple of weeks of uh, lesson yeah mm -hmm. uh, yes it's, uh, the the sorts and material we, we are going to use you know, as, as as you mentioned you know, so that's all that we uh we, we use we already have that you know, so maybe I will put some some additional. more, more you know, yeah. additional you know. but in in the exams or maybe assignment we it's, we're going to base on the uh the text and book that uh we uh we use that I, I show you yeah. okay. but any additional information yeah. so we uh maybe we can take from uh I, I may bring you uh the maybe some sort from Tipitaka yeah, from the Pali canon yeah. that's uh, come from the word of the Buddha because in in the book you know in the book, there's a story, like a storytelling from chapter to chapter. It's easy to learn and understand. Mm -hmm. So I may sometime uh, provide you a original words of the Buddha, which is I, I, I myself find interesting to learn the history of the Buddha from, from the words yeah, of the, from Dipitaka, you know? And so that's maybe the additional uh, sort that I may put in the, uh, my slide in in the following in the class. No? Okay, thank you. Okay, that's okay. Anyone no? like uh, have have any question? No. All right, so now. Nah. So oh, there's no question. That means all is clear, right? For our, uh, for our class. Né? So next week we're going to start the first chapter. Okay. So please, uh, uh, take a look at the, uh, the, the book and also the slide that we have shared in, in the Google, 
uh, drive, né? so before the class. Né? So if you have any point that you are not uh, understand or you find any mistake in the slide or in the book, né? so feel free to, to share and um, bring it to a discussion. Okay, so uh, we will learn and improve and decide uh, this class together. Okay. All right, so let us now uh, pay homage to uh, the triple chain. Nah? Okay. Abraham Samma Samputo Pakawa Putang Pakawandang Piwa Deni Soa Kato Pakawata Tamo Amang Namasa Me Supati Pano Pakawato and Sawaka Sanko Sankang Nama Me Okay, see you and see you next time, everyone. I'll share the file in the chat box. Okay. I thank you very much, Mechi, for sharing this. So this is exactly the, the book that we're going to uh, use in our class. And I also share in the right line book. Okay, please uh, download and save in your, your device, okay? So, so this is the, the book that we're going to, uh, to use. All right, see you, see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah.